Hi, so this video is going to be about IOTA, the third generation uh, blockchain platform for Internet of Things. And I'll quickly show you how to get started with this here. So this is their website, iota.org. You can find out uh, the information about it here. You can just scroll down by clicking on this little thing to the right here. It explains what it is a little bit. Some kind of use cases pop up here uh, randomly. And it continues on. Explains a little bit about the actual technology behind it, the tangle. And here you can um, look at some of the use cases: microtransaction, data transfer, voting, um, basically turning anything into a service. Right. Um, and obviously, one of the challenges of current blockchain is the ability to scale, ability to process more transactions per second <coughs> and you can go to get started here download the GUI the graphical user interface so it brings you over to the iota readme.io which is the documentation and I guess best based on your computer if you're on Windows uh, let me see what the actual download is Right, you can download the latest client from here right, so and it shows you the installer what it looks like so if you run the installer on windows it looks like this once you get to this page you're ready to go so what you need to do once you're here is generate a seed and what a seed is it's a strong password essentially so use this website here password generator go down to 81 Uncheck these, just leave the coward ladders. Don't sound across the internet. Okay, you'll end up with this big long string of characters, so copy that. So I just put it up here for simplicity. Now, you have to have, you don't, I don't think you have to have, but if you're going to have some numbers in it, it only has to be the number nine. So randomly just change some letters to nines and it's really up to you on your randomization there and then once you have it, that copy it um, save it somewhere secure so if anybody gets this and goes to any other iota wallet anywhere in the world they'll be able to get access to your balance and your funds so do not lose that do not share that do not let anybody see that there. And once you have that, um, you just paste it in here. And um, before that, actually, sorry, before that, before you see in the screen, you might be prompted uh, to put in neighbors. So, or ask, you might have a choice of, do you want a light wallet or a full node? Um, I would just choose um, the light wallet, the light node version because um, it gets you up and running uh, if you just want to use it as a wallet rather than actually use it um, for some machine machine transactions so choose the light wallet now you look you have to look for an address um, you could use my address which is here that's UDP colon forward slash forward slash an IP address a colon and then a port number and just paste that in as your light node uh, as you'll have an option a neighbor I think it's called and then when you get to this page paste that long string that we generated there this here into that box and hit login and it should load up and it should look something like this when you're logged in It's pretty straightforward. If you want to receive something from, say, let's say you have bought some uh, IOTA up on Bitfinex and you want to get it out, so you're going to go to withdraw, you're going to choose IOTA, and it tells you what your balance is here. So you want to get your address. Here it is here. 
found a couple of tires there. So copy them and send. Be sure to attach the tag before using the address. So I have to click that first. Be able to second. So Tangle is the the network essentially the blockchain. In this case of this new platform, so just give it a second there to attaches itself. And if I look up here, so address is attached. We're good to go. Um, I can look at. Let me come back to it first. Let me just do an example here for you. So I've got the address, and I'm going to send 200, which is currently about that much. I'm going to send it from my exchange wall well, because that's where I have them. And I've read and understood. And I just need to get my phone for a second. This is the actual layer of security, which I recommend always. Okay, so it asked me to put this number in here. I did two eight six four seven one out of here. Oh, withdrawal cancelled. Uh, obviously, I put the wrong number in there. So let me try that again. Hmm. So two hundred from exchange. Yes, I've got those. Withdraw. Uh, one or two. Okay, so I must have typed it wrong the first time. So, and it's just one last check, which is my email, just to confirm the transaction. These are just the layers of security in place on this particular exchange to ensure that there's nothing malicious going on. And it's expected. Okay, so approve or cancel withdrawal. I'm going to approve. Okay, withdrawal approved. User approved. It goes there. So over on my wallet here in history, shortly, this is a, this is the incoming transaction. So there's a couple of them you'll see down. Let me see. So it came in like that before. That one confirmed that was pending. And then eventually it started to come through. So that's one I just sent out um, recently. So this is my own computer. Up in the cloud, I have a node up here, um, which is currently waiting to receive that 50 that, that I sent from my computer. But this is the node. It's a full node. It's not a light client. Um, I'm not going to go into the differences on the on this video, but just this is in the cloud. This is a full node, um, and this is a, a, a live client at the moment that I'm using. So um, that's really it. So once you're in, um, that I'll update shortly. I can send. So I just need people's address and the amount, and I, you can put extra data in there. Um, you can receive. There's your address. Just click on it to copy it or scan this with the, your mobile phone. Make sure you attach the address first. And then this is the income and transactions. So that's the 200 I just sent from here from the exchange to my I would wallet. Um, and once that confirms, um, and again I'm not going to go into how that does that within this particular platform 
Um, it's really technical thing, so just keep it pretty simple at the moment. But basically, it does some some bit of work, and other nodes do a bit of work. And um, eventually, it'll populate in here, and then I can send receive. So what I'm planning to do with with um, with my Raspberry Pi is turn it into a, a Wi-Fi hotspot hotspot, and I'm gonna have it work with IOTA, so that when someone pays, it can. Uh, automatically give it access so that's iota i urge you to have a look at it um if you want any technical questions or their slack channel works uh, is really good for for engagement with developers um uh, working on it uh, the link in the documentation up here for downloading it brings you here mainnet so just pick the relevant one for your operating system windows mac linux and you're good to go